We start with a point. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. Once again, my name is Rob Bryanton, and this is the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. The entry we're looking at this time is called Our Universe Within the Omniverse. Now, there's been some really interesting theories advanced lately about how our universe fits in with the omniverse. Regular visitors to this uh, video blog will recall that omniverse is the term I've come to prefer for referring to the set of all the underlying information, all of the multiverses, all universes, and all parallel universe versions of those universes as a single concept. The terms multiverse or multiverse landscape also can refer to this same idea, but not as decisively. There are actually many different flavors of multiverse being proposed from various camps. As noted in the Wikipedia article on multiverse, physicist Max Tegmark prefers to use the term ultimate ensemble. Omniverse is another way of thinking about this same overarching idea. On April 8, 2010, Paul Howard Frampton submitted a paper which, in his words, presents a simple and hopefully convincing discussion of a solution to the dark energy problem, which arises because the visible universe is well approximated by a black hole. Uh, I'll put up a link to his announcement. And here's a link to the PDF of his paper as well. Interestingly, his paper contends that there's no need for gravitons to exist, an idea we've explored several times lately in this blog. For instance, the poll question that we were running at the text version of this blog ended up split absolutely evenly. 50% agreed that gravitons will never be observed because they don't exist, and 50% disagreed. Now, not long ago in my entry, Holograms and Quanta, and also in Strength of Gravity, Speed of Light, we looked at a new theory from Dr. Eric Verlind of the University of Amsterdam, which suggested the same idea. Just as there are no liquidons imparting the quality of liquidity to a collection of H2O molecules, Dr. Verlin suggests that gravity is also something that arises naturally from our position within the omniverse. Now, on April 12, 2010, the journal Physics Letters B published a new paper by Indiana University physicist Nikodem Poplowski. The Science Daily article about this new theory included the graphic that we're looking at here, which is a depiction of an Einstein-Rosen bridge, a theoretical construct which could be used to connect one universe to another. Dr. Poplowski's theory appears to be related to this concept. In the National Geographic article about his new theory, author Kerr Than described it like this. Like part of a cosmic Russian doll, our universe may be nested inside a black hole that is itself part of a larger universe. In turn, all the black holes found so far in our universe, from the microscopic to the supermassive, may be doorways into alternate realities. According to a mind-bending new theory, a black hole is actually a tunnel between universes, a type of wormhole. The matter the black hole attracts doesn't collapse into a single point, has been predicted, but rather gushes out a white hole at the other end of the black one, the theory goes. Isn't it funny to see a concept that science fiction fans have been reading and watching stories about for decades being discussed as if it's a new idea? In comments at my blog and discussions at the 10th Dimension Forum, I've mentioned a great science fiction novel by John Kramer called Einstein's Bridge, which is about what happens when a particle accelerator opens up a connection to another universe. The difference here, of course, is that Dr. Poplowski is proposing new equations that help to explain how this process could actually occur. Which takes us back to the beginning of this entry. If science is starting to understand how all these different universes could be connected together, all equally real, all existing simultaneously, and if the distinction between past, present, and future is meaningless, as Einstein liked to say, then that web of all connections is a way of thinking about the omniverse. We'll continue looking at this idea of how all these universes fit together next time with an entry called Our Universe as a Dodecahedron. My name is Rob Bryanson. Enjoy the journey.